Oh, hello. This is the rotisserie. Well, it's a lot, it has a lot of names, but this is the Power XL Pro Air Fryer Vortex 10 quarts. Okay, 10 quarts capacity. But before I show it to you, let me let me show you real quick. It came with this manual right here. This one for dehydration. Uh, this one for a rotisserie. Oops, so you can see it right there. And, you know, more instructions right here, favorites and all that, okay? Uh, also came, oops, what am I going to do it right here? With a quick guide, okay? Quick start guide. Right there, okay? So it's, it's, it's helpful. Also, it came with this. To get this free, I went to the website and they charged me 20 bucks and it's on its way right here. Whenever I get it, I get another video, video with this, okay? Oops, oops, it fell down. Okay, and also came with this manual. Very nice manual, okay? And then right here, it shows you the parts. It doesn't come with a, with the basket is the one that I just show you and it doesn't come with uh, oops I got it upside down oops <laughs> let me turn it this way okay uh, it, it, uh, it, it it doesn't come with the basket which I'm gonna show to you uh, I already got a video for it I'm gonna attach it it is a basket that, that, that goes right here a basket that goes right here it doesn't come with, okay? I I pay twenty five dollars for it in the website. I will show it to you. The um, I'm gonna attach that video to this, okay? Okay, folks. So all of this, if you have it or you don't have it, I'm gonna show you how to go to the QVC. Oops, let me show my face to the QVC website, and you don't have to be a member or you just have. To, I, I'll show you in the video how to go, how to locate this where you can find a pdf of all of this okay pdf just just in case you don't have it or if you think you need it is you know i i download it oh I, now i can see it on my ipad i can enlarge enlarge it you know the print sometimes it's tiny i can enlarge it okay so uh i'll attach the video how to find all of this okay let me put this over here to get it out of the way okay folks so it came with four of these those racks. I already got one inside. And I'll show it to you in just a moment, okay? I already got one inside. Okay, so let me put this right here. And also, it came, oops, I have to be real careful. With all of these, you know that, and I'm gonna make a video once I, once I put these instructions. I'm gonna put meat over here then the rotisserie is gonna do its job and then I'll show you the results, okay? It comes with this handle right here so you don't have to go inside. You, I mean, get your, no, no, you, you don't go inside, okay? I mean, get your hands inside the oven. With this, you, you can just detach all of this, okay? But for another video, okay? And uh, let me put it right here. And it came with this, they call it muffin. Honestly, I, I'm not gonna do muffins, okay? I mean, honestly, I'm gonna put eggs over here. I'm gonna put some other stuff, okay? Okay, so let me put this over here. And this base, this is where you put the rotisserie, you know, with the meat, you know, to let it rest. I don't know if I'm gonna let it rest. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> well, okay, so uh, after, you know, you plug and all of that, you know how to do it. Uh, this is the start button, okay? Right there. So, this is for the timing and this is for the temperature right here. Let me see. Timing, temperature, okay? And then it changes right here. Right here, look, I'm gonna press the light so you can see the food right there. Oops. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I did wrong.
Okay, so just press the power button and then he show you the light and turn it off because it will it will start. I just, just messed up in the other video. Okay, those are the mistakes that I just made. Hopefully you will make them, okay? When you press that light, let me see. Oops. Oh, I need to turn it off, okay. Okay, so I, I'm doing this. I, I didn't practice this, okay? These mistakes are happening, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show it on YouTube, so you don't make the same mistakes that I'm making. Okay, so don't press that light unless you're cooking. Okay, <laughs> unless you're cooking, or else it will continue cooking. Okay, that as you notice just happened to me. Okay, all right. So right here, the the uh, this is for the for oops, this is for the eggs. Pizza, you can see the icon right there. This is to warm up right here. Oops, right here, it's to warm up. And and, uh, and all you have to do, the pre put, the, put of course, put the food, right? And put the presets, and you don't have to do nothing else. The machine automatically will set the time and the temperature, unless you wanna experiment like I'm gonna do later on, you know, once I get some food after this video. I like to mess with those things right here, okay? That, that's me, I'll show it to you. And if I make any, any mistakes, I'll put them on YouTube so you don't make the same mistakes, like the mistake I just made with the light, okay? All right, so so uh, the good thing also is the light comes on, which is good. And this door right here, it detaches. I'll show it to you. I'm gonna make sure that you see this right here at this level you see if you do it like this it will come off if you do it like this it won't come off it has to be right here okay right here okay right here so in case it's on the way or you want to wash it re really good and uh they say do not put it in the in the dishwasher just hand clean it okay now, to put it back, you need to look at all this, okay? To look at this and match it with this right here, okay? Look, how I did it. When I detached it, it was like this. So, obviously, it has to be the same way, right? So, I'm watching this right here. I want to put those things right there. Oops. Let me try it again. Like I said, this is live, okay? I haven't tried this. Uh, just to show it to you. Okay, right here, you're real careful. That's it. You put the door back. So, uh, I like to cook with uh, olive oil, and things that they're healthy. And right here, this is one of these right here. But this is what happened to me. I used to have a new wave, well, I still have a new wave oven and things like that. And these racks, to clean it, is painful because sometimes they get sticky, okay? I mean, honestly, they get sticky. So what I do, I just put aluminum paper, put it there. When it gets dirty, just take the aluminum and throw it away. So this is... To this is the one, the tray at the bottom, okay? I also like to have a, oops, I just have this extra, I don't know why, but it's all right. Okay, because it gets dirty. Folks, it's gonna get sticky, okay? Even if they say, no, come on, you know, let, let's, let's get real, okay? So instead of you trying to scrub it and then it doesn't look the same, I just put this paper, it gets dirty, Throw away that the I was say toilet paper no 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 the aluminum the aluminum okay and just you know and this right here you have to be very careful right here it's a little bit tricky look 
This is for the rack. Oops. Okay, so it goes perfectly right there, okay, at the bottom. Okay. Now to put the rack, uh, like I said, aluminum paper, okay. This is where you have to be very careful because if you misalign it, if you put one side on the other side, it's gonna look like this, kinda kinda tilted. You, you want it to look flat, okay? Look what I'm doing right here. See? You see how it's tilted right here? And I thought I was being precise. So, have to be very careful how you align all of this. Oops. You see? Right there, okay? Uh, I'm making mistakes, not on purpose, it's just happening, okay? All right, so, and then if I look, yeah, that looks straight, yeah, it looks straight. Okay, so, uh, let me put one more of these. This is uh, the rack without the foil, aluminum foil. And right here is, oops. You see this right here? I was I was trying to put it right here, and that's for the rotisserie. So mistake, big mistake that I just made. Okay. So you see, folks, I thought I was doing it right because I'm looking at it this way, and it's tilted. Yeah, be real careful right here. Yeah, because if, if you're not careful, it's gonna go to the next one. Then you, if you put it right here, close to this. Oops. Oops. You have to be very careful right there. And it looks okay. Because it depends how high this is going to be. And, 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 and of course, when you, when you do this, you're going to be like this, okay? But I, I'm just by the side just to, to see to make sure that you see it, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm making some mistakes. So you can see the, these mistakes, you can avoid them, okay? So this, this it is, folks, the basic uh, basics for the, for the machine. You recommended that once you put it back, it won't be touching anything. I already made sure that it doesn't touch anything. As you can see, I can put it right here. I can put it over here, any other place. And what I like is that you're able to put it right here or right here and won't be taller than this, okay? So your choice, okay? All right, so uh, knowing me, it's gonna change places, okay? <laughs> oh man, it's gonna change places. Folks, thank you so much. And the next video, I'm actually gonna use, uh, use it. I'm gonna cook. From scratch, I'm going to show you the video and the results, okay? Thank you so much, and see you on the next video.